Hello, Doug Flanders here, Senior Director of Sales at Redline Controls. Thank you for joining us. In our last video, Building Block 1, we focused on getting multiple products from different manufacturers connected through protocol conversion. In this video, we'll demonstrate how Crimson can easily transfer the data collected from these devices by utilizing MQTT. MQTT is a lightweight and efficient protocol. It uses the publish and subscribe model to transmit and receive information to enterprise and SCADA systems as well as cloud-based platforms. It also uses small message headers in order to optimize network bandwidth. MQTT also provides advanced security, making it easy to encrypt messages using TLS in order to authenticate clients. It provides reliable delivery of messaging using defined QoS levels. Clients can save data if communication is lost between client and broker. Redline portfolio of automation products can be configured as clients using the MQTT protocol within Crimson. As part of the standard offering within Crimson, the following MQTT connectors are provided. Generic, AWS, Azure, Google, and Sparkplug. Before we demonstrate the ease of setting up MQTT tunnels, here's a quote from a Redline customer. Red Lion's MQTT connector enabled us to connect to our SCADA system very easily and smoothly. Now let me pass you to Joe Slattery, one of our field application engineering managers. Thanks, Doug. I have the FlexEdge hardware connected, networked, and ready to push data to a cloud service. As Doug referenced, we've already covered how easy it is to connect serial and Ethernet devices within Crimson. Here are the devices that we have connected as well as a list of predefined tags associated with these devices. Now I'll demonstrate how easy it is to connect the device data to the cloud. In this demonstration, we'll use a generic MQTT connector. First, we'll need a few configuration parameters from the cloud service. In this case, we will need the host name, data topics, as well as the authentication parameters. I'm using a service called UbiDot simply because it enables rapid assembly and data visualization without having to write code. I already have an account created and in order to complete the MQTT connection, we simply need to copy the authentication parameter defined as the default token within the service and paste it into the MQTT configuration. Now let's complete the configuration by enabling the generic connector. I'll scroll down to username under authentication and paste the authentication key. The tag set count and operation section can remain at default and I've pre-configured the MQTT server and data topic sections. The network and device data tabs can remain at default and we can jump right over to the tag sets. The tag sets and communication control options within each set provides the flexibility to tune the traffic to meet a wide range of application requirements. I'll just simply set an update rate of one second. And drag and drop a couple parameters into the MQTT configuration to complete the setup. With the configuration complete, all I need to do is push the database to the Crimson device. Now I can go back to the cloud service, view the dashboard, and see that my data is being pushed to the cloud. With an extensive list of protocols to choose from, we can easily gather data from a wide range of devices and seamlessly connect that data using MQTT to a variety of cloud services. Good job, Job. Building on what was just demonstrated, I'd like to share another quote from a known user who has implemented MQTT using Crimson. Redline's generic MQTT cloud connector enabled us to push data to our SCADA system within minutes. We had been working on this for weeks without any success using a competitive product. In our first video, Building Block 1, we showed how to unleash the power of Crimson by using protocol conversion. Next, in Building Block 2, we demonstrated how quickly we can get your data to an enterprise, SCADA, or cloud-based platform using MQTT. In our next Building Block, you'll discover how you can easily apply OPC UA functionality in order to simplify your data collection capabilities 
and distribute this information to multiple platforms. Red Lion's Crypts and Software can be downloaded on our website at www.redlion.net slash crimson. Thank you for taking the time to explore Red Lion products and solutions. For questions on Red Lion's portfolio of products, please use the information provided on this page or contact one of our authorized distributors.